So, uh, you know, okay, they're reviewing the 1,400 cases <coughs> that he has. What about, I guarantee you, and, and I suspect it was an issue with this, they probably looked at the property records of Tuttle, saw they own this house outright. Hey, man, this is prime asset forfeiture right here. Oh, We're just talking about asset forfeiture. you think? Absolutely. Can you imagine if it had ties to the DA <coughs> office? Well, you know, but look, man. Are they going to go back and review all the asset, the 1,400 asset forfeiture cases? No, there's and no the, way. the millions of dollars that were likely seized by oh. this guy's investigation? And is there any recourse? You think they're going to return the money? No. They've already spent the money. You've seen yeah, the county doesn't have the laptops money. Laptops they, they have. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. But I mean... We don't have a courthouse but, right now. But, <laughs> they don't have money but to I give think, back to people. But I think that should be another component that should be at least reviewed. Absolutely. You know, I mean, look, we're coming on the heels now of this Supreme Court decision that says, hey... It, there, there's a strong chance in, in that you cannot go forward with this because it violates the Eighth Amendment uh, and, and excessive fines. But they, this is, might be the final straw that we can finally put to bed civil asset forfeiture. You, you think know? it's because they have a bias? They have this, I mean, there's, there's something that's just wrong with seizing these. I think there's something wrong with seizing this property. Sometimes not even criminal charges being filed. Exactly. And what about if it's seized pursuant to a false warrant? <laughs> They're not just lining up to give the money back. Give the property back. No. No. I... I have all kinds of problems with asset forfeiture. I think if the way you want to make asset forfeiture go away, if the Supreme Court didn't already put the nail in the coffin, is you just link the funds to indigent defense and don't don't give the money back to law enforcement or district attorney's offices. Let them seize we'll it all they want. They don't have the buy. They don't have their their motivation for I it. I mean, the DEA is pretty much almost self funded off their asset forfeitures. Well, the Harris County DA's office has quite a treasure chest of. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if y'all have ever been down there, but in the basement of the courthouse is the uh, firearms training simulator, yep. the FATS machine. I believe that back in 2003, wrote, and I could be wrong, but this is my recollection, is that Chuck Rosenthal paid for that with asset forfeiture funds. I, I was told that, in, that, in, that Pat Lykos paid for all the new media in the courtrooms, the three TVs and the little console that has all the control equipment in it. And her that press conference room toward. on the sixth floor. Yeah, and that was all paid for through the asset forfeiture. Could be. And there's no way that they have the they don't have the money to hire more prosecutors, but they all got each each least county court prosecutor got. A, I looked those up because they're nice little laptops. They're thousand dollar laptops. Mm -hmm. Each one of those little Dells or HPs, whatever they are, they're, they're on par with a with an Apple. Mm -hmm. And isn't it? Pricey. I, I'm pretty sure that that kind of money is what they use asset forfeiture for. 